Hey guys, what is up? It's Mo Gaming here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Dead Island 2. We're going to be looking at some gameplay, some trailers, some screenshots I got from DeadIsland.com, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Also, if you guys didn't know, there is a new release date. It's going to be April 21st, 2023. Uh, the game has went gold, uh, which is usually a great sign for the development. Uh, and let's just take a look at all this, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe for more future videos. And be sure to leave a like rating on the video. It is much appreciated. Let's get right into the video. So this is going to be the first thing you see when you go over to deadisland.com. It's going to be See You in Hella LA, Dead Island 2, with that new release date of 4-21-2023. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for this. I've been waiting for this game for years, since 2015, so it's really cool that they got that early date out. Alright, the next thing we're going to be taking a look at here is the Cinematic Co-op Adventure. As a proper RPG experience, Dead Island 2 offers plenty of exciting quests, a crazy cast of characters, and a thrilling pulp story to truly immerse you in its twisted universe. Replayability is guaranteed and an over-the-top co-op mode for up to three players, and you'll stay in LA for a very long and gory trip. Uh, guys, Dead Island, the original Dead Island, had one of the best co-op experiences I've ever had probably in my life. Um, it did not have couch co-op. For what I remember, it did not have couch co-op, which is a, a huge letdown at the time. Uh, that's one thing that I hope that has changed with this new game. I hope that couch co-op is available. Uh, if I'm remembering wrong, guys, please let me know in the comments down below. I just I don't think I ever played it couch co-op. I always played it online, I believe. Uh, explore Hell L Hell L A. Dead Island 2 takes players across the most iconic locations of the City of Angels now stained with horror and an exciting pulp journey from the verdant suburbia of Beverly Hills to the quirky promenade of Venice Beach. Uh, the setting sounds really cool. I hope they get it right. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to get it wrong, but uh, I really hope that it's as beautiful as they're saying and I hope it's a lot like the real place. That would be really awesome. The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the Brutal Melee Sandbox. Combat delivers the most intense, visceral, and gory first person experience possible. With plenty of weapons and tactical and brutal options to chew your way through the zombie horde. Whether you're slicing, smashing, burning, or ripping, we want you to truly feel it. Uh, that sounds really awesome. I really like the, uh, the vocabulary that they use for that little description. Um, I mean, it does... I mean, part one was pretty was pretty gory, so you can only really up it from there. All right, the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the Alexa Game Control, which sounds really interesting and awesome to me. Hey, Zombie, Alexa Game Control is coming to Deadline 2 and will be available on PC and Xbox versions of the game in the U.S., Canada, and U.K. Use your voice to interact with zombies, swap your weapons, call up your map, and more. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually have a little video actually showcasing this, and it'll either be in this video or another video uh, in a couple of days whether I get to it or not for this video but this sounds really awesome and in the showcase it makes it look pretty sweet I'm really really excited for this one and these are just a few more things you can do with the Alexa game control uh, waypoints players can ask the best route to watch uh, to match a vendor slash workbench fast travel map points of interest set a marker on a vendor where's the nearest workbench find me a point of interest fury players can activate the devastating fury power going to berserk for a few seconds to activate fury fury on light it up let's hustle zombie groating players can attract zombies even specific ones burster over here let's dance weapon selection players can ask for any weapon they have in their inventory equip a gun and emote triggering players can command an emote animation high wave emote uh, that's really cool to me this this is this is really looking pretty awesome uh, the fact that you can issue commands in game and do them uh, I really like that and I think it's gonna be innovative in the gaming industry I think this is gonna be a big thing in the near future and they're just one of the first to really try it 
The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is uh, some of these survivors. Again, these are called the Slayers, and there's actually uh, a clip. I have like a three-minute clip, and um, it's really kind of showcases all of them and their abilities. It'll either be in this video or in another, or in another one on down the line, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. And the first one we have is Dana, hailing from the mosh pits of County Cork in Ireland. Dana is a headstrong rock rockabilly brawler with a foul mouth and a twisted sense of humor. She plows through zombies the way she plowed through opposing roller derby teams pre zombie apocalypse with a grin and a yelled promise to fuck you up. I don't love how it's really spelled there. It's actually feck. Uh, and her skills are blood loss. Dana regains health when slaying multiple zombies in quick succession. Uh, the next one we have is Carla. Carla is a motorcycle stunt rider, unfazed by rings of fire, jumps over ravines and midair flips, so the apocalypse has barely made her break a sweat. Armed with street smarts and an outgoing disposition and balanced physical confidence, she's embraced the challenges of slaying her way through Hell LA with enthusiasm, and her skills include dig deep, Carly gets a moderate toughness boost while her health is critical. These uh, these characters, these uh, slayers as they're calling them, they sound really cool and they sound like they'll be they'll have their own stories and they'll be um, kind of like in how the original all the characters had their own stories and and uh, everybody had a favorite character. Uh, I can't even remember mine's name, but it was the dude who's like, "Who do you voodoo?" He was really I think it's Sam B. Anyway, uh, we got Amy clicked collectors figurine. This is just another thing that was on the website. Immerse yourself in the stylish, vibrant world of Dead Island 2 with this exclusive collector's item. This stunning, hand-painted, resin figurine shows zombie slayer Amy chilling in Burger 66 with a milkshake. I just thought that that was pretty cool that you can uh, get a uh, figurine. I think you actually get that if you pre-order, but I'm not for sure. I'll have to kind of take, take a little bit more time to figure out exactly what that is. And the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is some of the zombies or different variations of zombies in the game. Uh, the first one we have is the Grenader Walker. Always check your six when you're surrounded. Some zombies still have the toys they used in life. Like how a few soldiers were carrying explosives around. You go flailing into a crowd and set one off that's blowing up in your own stupid face. But read the room, hit the sweet spot, walk away from the explosion like you're cool. And, and then blowing each other up will make your day a whole lot easier. So again, every survivor is going to have uh, their own abilities and every walker or zombie is going to have their own abilities. Uh, there's different variations. We'll go through them all this video, but I think that's pretty awesome. The next one we're going to be taking a look at is the Inferno Crusher. Now this right here is some real fucking voodoo shit. Can you believe these zombies let their own asses catch fire? Sam B reference. Thing is, they can take the heat. Any fire modified weapons you got, best just put that shit away. Because they'll just shrug it off. Put those flames out before you get turned into a burnt zombie chow. A splash of water or a kin bomb and these fuckers will lose what makes them so special. The boogeyman beast. Uh, again, this is just really cool. I love games that like do this kind of thing where... Um, not every, not every zombie is alike, and there are very few games that can do it real good. I think Left 4 Dead, uh, do you guys ever play that one, was one of the, was one of the ones that got it real good with their specialty zombies, and every, every normal zombie, like NPC zombies, I guess you could say, they all, they all have their own attributes, and that's something I really enjoy to see. Crusher, bites are the least of your worries with these big nasty motherfuckers. Crusher swing at anything human or zombie, and they hit like a truck. If one jumps at you, better move the fuck out of the way or they'll make you move. My two cents, their arms are their weapons, and weapons are worthless when they're broken. Uh, again, just just really cherry on top, cherry on top, all these uh, different zombies. And at the same time, they're telling you about them. They're also letting you know how to combat them, which is awesome. It's really cool. I mean, I, for one, love to just go in myself and just get absolutely destroyed and got to kind of trial and error, but it's really cool that they're kind of including how you can beat them. Uh, the next one we got is the Screamer, or the Witch, to any of my Left 4 Dead players. What do you got to... What you got to remember with these noisy fuckers is that they're never alone for long. If one starts screaming, you got to shut it up before the whole neighborhood swings by. Getting close up is the hard part because screamers have enough power in their lungs to blast you away. But it's worth the trouble because it's hard to perform when the crowd's throwing shit at you. I know from experience. 
I think this is literally Sam B writing all of these posts. <laughs> Uh, the runner, uh, new recruits to the zombie army still got their fresh legs and we will call them runners for a reason. They catch your scent. Basically, they'll get you. <laughs> uh, Walker, your run in the mill cookie cutter, original flavor zombie, any slayer, any slayer worth their salt can take one down solo, but don't ever let them surround you. These fuckers are everywhere and I do mean everywhere behind every door, down every sewer, inside every air vent waiting to jump out and grab you and double tap people. You take their leg, they'll just crawl over and take your ankle. Nice, nice, really, really nice. Uh, loving it, loving it. I mean, just just reading these is giving me so much hype. Spiky runner, zombies don't feel pain like we do, so when they climb fences or over broken windows, all that barbed wire and other sharp stuff just gets lodged in and on them. Like shiny new accessories means when a brawl, brawling a slayer like yours truly tries to punch or kick him away, I hit a shard of glass and now I'm the one bleeding all over the place. Uh, so now we've got them kind of starting to get infected by their own environment, which is pretty awesome. Uh, slobber, and that's an ice cream man, I do believe. Back on Benoit, we called them floaters. They got all sorts of caustic just bubbling away inside of them, and they puke it out at anything that moves. Uh, it smells like shit and melts flesh down to the bone. Slobbers can wade through the vomit like it's nothing, but you ain't got that luxury. Uh... I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, that reminded me of the Boomer from Left 4 Dead. I'm just doing a bunch of Left 4 Dead jokes now, guys. Uh, some older zombies are already falling apart from rot. Hell, I saw one hit me so hard, it took its own dumbass arm off. Funniest shit I'd seen all day, but you take my point, and the slow and steady steadies can get to me. They will get to you. To these walking dust piles are dead for good. They can still swing the hit that brings you down. And we're just getting started. Uh, that's just a crash course in the Zombie 101 Hell, uh, Hell LA edition. The whole sea is bursting with these undead fuckers of all shapes and sizes. Each one brings their own voodoo tricks, and every last one of them looking to chow down on your sorry ass. You gotta stay loose, keep your gear in good shape, and make sure you got a tool for every situation out there. Don't, But don't worry, you stick with me and listen to what I got to say. I'll turn you into a real pro slayer, just like me. That has got to be Sam B. Anyway, all that sounds really cool, and uh, you can actually find more info. Yeah, guys, I will leave a link down below in the description to the deadisland.com website where I got all the info for this. And like I said, there's even more info. You guys can really, you can spend hours going through everything on there. I didn't have time to for this video, though. I didn't want to make too long a video. Um, but I will definitely be covering more of this on my channel in the coming weeks. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating, and I will see you guys in the next video.